Hello everybody, and welcome back to Terminator Resistance. Um, so I found out that my fan had been on the entirety of like the past four or five recordings. Not that that does much. Um, I just turn it off when I record, just simply for the fact um, that it eliminates the possible chance of background noise, because I know it's been, it affected things in the past. I had it on the lowest setting, so I don't think it'll do too much to the recording, but um, if any of those sound weird, it's probably because of the fan. It's not like one of the like small desk fans or ones you plug in, it's like an overhead fan. Um, so, anyway, here we go. So we are down to the last, the last thing. We are down. We're going to the last one. Let's see. We're going this way. case, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I thought they were the last two that I hadn't killed. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna start an all-out war here. Okay, there is, oh, there is a save thing in this building. Oh, it just saved. No, never mind, I'm not going in the building to save. Oh, it's because the last one's right here. Resting place. Peter, it turns out that there are still people out here, and you thought that we were the only ones who survived. I've decided I'm going to stay with them for a while. I don't think it's particularly safe here, but I am tired of running. You know, we're not getting any younger. There's a guy, Ryan, an older guy like us, who reminds me of how much we've aged. All of them think that they have a story to tell since they've lived through Judgment Day. You know what he asked me? He asked me if I'd remember coffee. Quite an icebreaker, don't you think? I think you'd like him. You guys would have quite the time annoying me. My watch is ending soon. I miss you. And I miss real coffee. Okay. That's the last one. Good job with these pictures, Rivers. You're welcome. We're one step closer to preparing your counterattack. I'm starting to see why Skynet isn't so fond of you. Now get your ass back to the shelter. Okay. Well. I guess I'm gonna go out here. Not there. Well, there are some people over here. Like, there's quite a few that I haven't dealt with. That, is that a save? Wow. It's a save. Dang, man. go through the building and gather as much stuff as possible, so. Save, and we're gonna go. It's kind of scary, the, uh, a number of, the number of different possibilities for 
end of the world type scenarios that we have come up with. Just simply through uh, games, movies, TV shows. It's quite scary, actually. Not like all of them are gonna, you know, like this is very, very unlikely to happen. I mean, we're more likely to get a zombie apocalypse than we are. Oh, I don't like that. There we go. Okay, no more. Um, yes, I want to leave this area. Oh, the exit was right there. I thought we were going to go over the hill. Okay, well, either way. Uh, back to the hideout. Oh, so we're going... This is the actual hideout. We're not getting we're not getting back to the the one with the boss lady. We're going back here to give them their stuff and then we're going to head back. This is probably the last time we're going to be at this hideout, by the way. Probably. If I had to guess. Um I don't like this. Where's everybody? Uh oh. I got scared. Okay, okay. So who's that? That's Aaron. Oh, it's he's so cute. They're both so cute. I want another picture. I want another picture. I want another picture. I I want another picture. I want another picture. So cute. So cute. Where? What happened to, um... Okay, no, there he is. It's about to be like... Where did he go? Well, hi. How's it going? Jacob, how is Pasadena? Uh, you know what? Forget I asked. I don't want to know. Okay. I'm just glad that you're alright. Well, thank you. And how are you doing? I guess I'm a little nervous before tomorrow. Aren't you curious about what happened in Pasadena? No. I think I'd rather keep that place in the past. Actually, I have a confession to make. I've never been outside of Pasadena until now. Can you believe that? That's not surprising. After all, that's where your home is. Where it used to be. Right now, I'm going to try someplace new to call home. I did my traveling through pictures and postcards that wanderers brought with them. My favorite had a little flamingo drinking water from a lake on it. Its long red neck curved like a snake. Patrick's mother gave me that postcard. Hmm. It's funny how I never met my mother, but I was around to see Patrick's leave him. Wait, Patrick's mother gave me that postcard. It's funny how I've never met my mother, but I was around to see Patrick sleep him. I thought Patrick was your brother. In our house, we were all brothers and sisters. But me and Patrick, we've always had this special bond. Oh. Felt what the other one was feeling. <laughs> We'd even get sick together. I remember the day Patrick's mom brought him in. Oh. We were both tired and dirty, so we took care of him. Patrick was crying a lot. He was teething at the time. I think that was what scared her away. She just couldn't handle the crying. I guess I'd be scared too. Would you? You seem so composed. I even started wondering if you were a machine yourself. 
After she took off, I was devastated. But my father said, you need to grow up. You have a brother now. So I burned the postcard. The little red flamingo flew up in flames. And I promised myself I'd never be weak again. But I guess we all need someone we can be weak with sometimes, don't we? I, I never asked you. What are you planning to do tomorrow? I've been meaning to tell you earlier, but I panicked. And that's because I decided to go with Ryan. We'll find somewhere safe, away from all this. You have to understand, I need to do what's best for Patrick. I'm his big sis. I need to protect him. I... I haven't told him yet. He'll be devastated leaving you and Aaron. No, it's actually... I'm actually I very think sad. It's for the best. <laughs> Do you sleep with your eyes open? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's hilarious. Is everybody's like that? I can't, can't quite, quite tell. Oh, that's hilarious. That was a bit of a mishap there. I guess it wasn't, wasn't supposed to happen like that. <laughs> I do all the models are just lying on a bed with their eyes open. Oh. That's uh, something they didn't want to be seen, but I found it. <laughs> Few hours later. Wake up! We need to move. What? What's going on? Everyone, wake up! You need to get out of here. Who the fuck are you? It doesn't um, matter. What matters okay. is that you can't stay here any longer. She asks a question, and I suggest answering. You don't want to do that. I've got this place rigged with explosives, and there's a detonator in my pocket. You got what? Would you mind? Lower your gun, Ryan. He's the one that saved my life. What do you want from us? You have to get out of here. Skynet's on its way. They finally found you. What do you mean, they found us? They were looking for us? Not for you, for him. He's essential to winning this war. Skynet knows that. That's why they've been following him for months. I have to make sure nothing happens to him. In a couple of minutes, an infiltrator will walk in here trying to kill him. I can't let that happen. We have to bury that Terminator here once and for all. All right, everybody, you heard him. Let's get moving. I'll get the bus ready. There's no time for that. There's a passage here. It will lead you out. Use it. What was that? All right, everyone, go, get out. Go, 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 go. Get everyone to safety. Jacob! Give me that. It's the same one. It's the same model. Leave! Now! How no. the hell's he still alive? Go, go, go! Watch out! Uh oh, uh oh. Gun, gun, Don't gun. Don't just stand gun. there! Run! Gun. 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 Oh my gosh. Gun. 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 Isn't there one. Use Ryan's boombox to annoy Alvin. Oh, so Ryan, Ryan must end up coming with us. Okay, because of this. Yeah, I'll go there. Open the unlockable door in a pan and panacea. Well, I have to go back to do that. 
Escape downtown with Alvin. Destroy the infiltrator. Okay, well, I missed the unlockable door in Pasadena, but that's okay, I think. I'll get it later. I'll get it later. I'll have to replay, I guess, but it's fine. This might be my first, um, platinum game. Because I've, no I've not platinumed the game yet on here. So, we'll see. It won't take too long to get back there. I just do the main objectives. I've been doing all the side quests. If I have to restart, it'll be fine. Just ignore all the side quests. People won't like me, but you just ignore all the side quests and uh, just find the unlockable door. Can't be that difficult. I'll just have to search up where it is. Um, but we're all going to the resistance shelter, so... Here we go. Baron listened to us. She could no longer deny that this infiltrator was a real threat. She decided to take everyone in, on her terms. The shelter was on high alert, but thanks to the intel I gathered in Pasadena, we slowed the advance of the Annihilation Line and gained some time. Just enough to start preparing the counterattack. Two weeks later. Hello, soldier. Okay, goodbye. Sergeant? At ease. Sergeant? Did I get promoted? Well, look at you, Sergeant. When you helped us in Pasadena the other day, I was trying really hard not to panic because you were only a private. Sorry for underestimating you. I guess I should salute or something? Wait, what? How's, How's Patrick? Patrick? Every day a little better. Aaron says he'll be back on his feet in no time. She's done a great job with him. I wish I could repay her somehow. It just doesn't seem that she needs anything. Getting ready for another scavenging run? No, I just came out here to catch my breath. Baron is giving us the entire evening off, believe it or not. Doesn't sound like her. I need to report to Baron. Okay. So yeah, I was a private, but now I'm a sergeant. So I've gotten promoted. Somehow. Knock, 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 knock. Rivers, knock. DN four six eight nine zero. The commander is expecting you in the control room, Sergeant. Oh, there's one less dog now. Why is there one less dog now? Oh, because the dog's over here. <laughs> Maritime challenge. Where do they keep finding us? Well, the infiltrator is obviously going to end up on our radar and try to come kill me, and we're going to have to kill it. And that's that's basically one of those things that constantly happens in these games. Is just simply that there's a Terminator trying to kill the most important person in the game or movie. Hi, hey, Laura. Hey, I'm just catching up with Mark. I'll get back to work in a couple of minutes. You won't tell, right? <laughs> uh, but, but no, seriously, you won't tell, right? You're fine. Hi. I'm going out soon. I haven't made my daily quota yet. I still have three more rats to catch. <coughs> if you see one, let me know, okay? I shall try. Hmm, <clears throat> exactly. Oh, 
Hey, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. How's everything? Exactly as you would imagine. Baron's keeping me busy. They weren't kidding when they said she's a hard ass. What happened after you started your camp? Honestly, not that much. At least not in the beginning. When we gave up on the idea of getting in touch with anyone, we just tried to adapt. Temperatures fell, we had to scavenge for food. All of a sudden, that became our life. Didn't you try to reach home? Some people did. Most of us were scared of what we'd find if we did get home, so we conveniently said we are stranded here anyways and stayed. Well, I know how stupid it sounds, but we managed to have fun in our little commune. I still had my guitar with me. We talked a lot about how we're gonna be famous, because we're the only living band in the world. You played in a band. I did. One of the few things I was better at than Tucker. He didn't have much talent, but he loved the idea of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Especially the first two. We were just stupid kids, not realizing what was going on. We paid the price for it the first time we saw a tin can. I was tuning my guitar when I heard a strange noise. I found out later that it was a T-400. Must have heard me play. It didn't even have the decency to look scary. Maybe if it did, we wouldn't have just stood there when it started firing. What did Tucker do? Well, of course, he was the first one to help. He grabbed a lead pipe and ran up trying to kill it. He screamed like he was leading us to battle. A tin can got Tucker with a single bullet. Bam! Just like that. Seven other people died before we finally destroyed that thing. Ironically enough, I was the one who delivered the final blow. Safe to say, it was the beginning of a new era. What did you hear? A lot of rumors going around of how she's sending insubordinate workers to the front line. And by insubordinate, I mean people who ain't willing to work 18 hours a day, every day. Okay, that was kind of random. What a master. There should be a radio somewhere, because I have to annoy someone with Ryan's radio. Anyway. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to pick it right back up just simply because I don't know where the save lasts, so I'm not going to bother by it. So we'll just pick up here in the next video. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.